and welcome to Cracking the Cryptic. And today, Simon has done a killer Sudoku puzzle that will um, test your mettle if you had a go at it. Um, I have found one that is meant to restore your faith in your ability to do killer Sudoku. This is by uh, Clover and has been posted on our Discord server, where I was looking because um, Grockles asked me to... Uh, know that it was his son's 11th birthday. So happy birthday, Gabe. I understand you've been watching our videos with your father, which smacks to me of someone being forced to watch them while his father enjoys them, but I hope that's not the case. Um, and I note that in this puzzle, we can very easily highlight two of the cages and thus recognize your 11th birthday. So congratulations. Um, and this puzzle was recommended by Clover as something you could maybe just have a speed run at, easier than her usual stuff and worth a go. You will know Clover from a couple of puzzles of hers we've done before and possibly from her Twitch stream, which I think is on hiatus at the moment, but we hope she'll be back doing it soon. And uh, I'm looking forward to this. Now, I do want to mention that on Patreon, the beginning of next month, we'll be featuring Demono's follow-up to Everything is Rogan, which is fair to describe as eagerly awaited. We can't wait to see um, how people get on with that and what the reaction is. Um, a fascinating puzzle. The Simon's original attempt at everything is Rogan fried his brain in ways we haven't seen until this week again, frankly. So uh, marvelous stuff. We're looking forward to that. Do, do think about joining Patreon. There's so much good extra content there as well, of course, as our apps, which are available on the links under the video, where you will also find a link to this puzzle. Let me uncolor those cages for the purpose of solving while still wishing Gabe a happy birthday. And do it's just a regular killer Sudoku, so um, digits can't repeat in cages and their contents add up to the number in the corner. Uh, normal Sudoku rules apply. Give it a go on the link under the video. I'm gonna try now. Let's get cracking. And we've got 14 cages here, which must contain 9, 5, and 6, 8 in some order. 23 cage has to be 9, 8, 6. Look, 6 cages here are 1, 5, and 2, 4. The 12 cage has to contain 1 and 2. So that one doesn't, and that one does. Um, an eight cage here does contain a one. Uh, okay, this isn't that. Ah, oh, nine, no, this is very analogous to that one and two situation. There must be a nine and eight in the 28 cage. So row one, column one doesn't have a nine or eight and row two, column one does. Um, the 17 cage has to have one, two and three three in it, but the one and two can't be here. Um, oh, there is a one, two, and three in those cells. There could be three there. So that's not a one. These 15 cages obviously are made up of either six, nine, or eight, seven. This six cage is one, two, four, or five. The 33 cages, just like the 17 cage, there are three forced digits. 9, 8, and 7. So that can't be 9 or 8. One of those must be at least. Ah, I've been sort of hesitating about putting in all the possibilities, but here, I think 28 is either 9, 8, 7, 4, or 9, 8. Oh, hang on, it can't be 9, 8, 5, 6, because that would explode this cage. Is that right? Yes. So this is a 9874 cage. So then we have 1, 2, 3, 5, and 6 to go in there. Ah! Now, that could contain 1 or 2. In fact, it must. And the reason for that is these can contain a maximum of 1, 1 or 2. But so can these cells. And these have to contain both. So one of the one or twos must be here. And yeah, so what I'm trying to say is for box six, there's one one or two there. There's got to be one here because there can't be two in those cells because there's got to be at least one here. Wow, 
So that's not one or two. We've got a effective one, two pair and a sort of virtual pair going on there and there and along here. Um, ah, and now this, that's lovely. Yes, this can't be a one, two, four, five cage or that explodes that cell. So it's a one, two, three, six, 12. That gives us our first digit, a little five in the corner, most unexpectedly with one, two, three, six pointing at the other candidates. There also has to be one of one or two up there. Oh, what am I doing? I don't know. Right, that's a one, two, three, six quadruple. One of one or two is there, the other is here. I don't know which way around they go. Four, so, oh, that becomes a six because of the five we placed. That's straightforward enough. Um, so six is not there, so six is in these cells and three isn't. Therefore, three is in these cells and six isn't. That's now a one, two, three triple with a four, five pair there. This is kind of part of a six, seven, eight, nine quadruple. Six is there, so it's not in this cell. This is not that straightforward a puzzle, but it is good fun. Um, four, seven, and nine, and that could be eight still to place in the box. That has become a four. Well, I didn't get any of the implications of that five when I first placed it, but now we're moving on. Right, those can't have one in anymore. Ah, oh, that can't be one. I can place one. Now, is this three, four, or two, five? Ah, this can't have two or three. So we've got two or three there, and four or five there. One, two, three, four, seven, or five, six. So we've got a virtual four, five pair going on, so this can't be four. Oh, seven, eight, and nine are in there. That's a straight given four. That's so annoying. Right, got it now. That also can't be eight. So eight is in one of these cells. I'm gonna take out the nine pencil mark. Um, one, two, three, can this be one, two, three, four, five? No, that's not what it would be. Can it be one, two, three, four, seven with a five there? Yes, I think it could be. Can it be one, two, three, five, six with a four at the bottom? Yes, I think it just can be, although that feels a bit more pressured. Right, down here. Oh, look, I can't have a five in here now. That's a two, four pair. So I'm going to form a virtual 2-4 pair along here. Um, no, I don't know what that's telling me. 5, 1, 2, 3. This is a 7, 8, 9 triple down here. Oh, gosh, I'm just not making the right deductions today. So that's a 4, 6, 7, 8, 9 quintuple. 2 there. We've got 1, 3, and 5 to place. So they are from one, three, and five. That's one or three. That can't be two either. So two is now in this cage with the six. So that's two, six. This is one, three. That's a two. That now is a three. So we've got a one, four, three cage along the bottom. That fixes the two, four. Uh, we've got a one, three pair there. We've only got one place for a four in the column. That's good. So six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, and this has become impossible. Ah, right. Let's just go back to where we had only one place for the four in the column. We've actually placed the four in the column, so that's complete balderdash. Let's put a four in one of those. Uh, this is a four, six, seven, eight, nine quadruple. I noticed that earlier. So why why did I forget that immediately? Who knows? Um, this can't be eight. So that doesn't mean it's seven or nine. We've ah oh, right, nine eight seven is twenty four. This is not nine eight seven four five. Oh, that's been obvious for ages. This is nine eight seven six three now. So this is a naked single five. Thanks to that, we've got one and two to place in the column. Um, this is a naked single seven now. 
given what it can see in the column and the row, and that makes this a 6-9 pair. 7-8 pair there, we get an 8 at the bottom here. This can't be 8 or 7 anymore. 6, 8, 5, we've got, this is a naked single, 3. 1 or 2 there, that is part of a useful pair. That is forming a pair with that, so this is 4. Um, also, that can't be 1 anymore. Now, this is 1, 2, 3. Now it can't be 1, 2, 3, 4, 7. It's 1, 2, 3, 5, 6. I'm just going to take everything out, put those in. These can't, no, this has to be a 6 to start with. Then it, these can't be a 1. The top one can't be a 2. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 4, 7, 8, 9 in the other cells in the column. So this is 7, 8, 9 triple. Uh, so one and three, no, one of them can be there. I was about to place, ah, oh, one there, one there. We can place the one, sorry. Right. Three is in one of these two cells. Six. This can't be three or six. We've got another seven, eight, nine triple in this row. Four, seven, eight, five, one, two. Down here, we've got three, six, nine triple. Where does four go in one of those two cells? Um, I don't know here though, I probably should. Oh, eight's in one of those two, so that's not an eight. Ah, I still don't know what, oh look, six, seven, eight, nine, quadruple. So two, three, four, and five in the others, but we know that three is up here and two must be in this box with four and five, so if two is in one of those positions, these are not two. So that's a three, five pair to go with a two, four pair, three, five pair at the top. This is a four, six pair, that can't be six. Six in the 23 cage goes here, one, three, seven, eight or nine, five, seven, eight or nine. I've got a lot of candidates. This has become a two. Mmm, still don't know about this 15 cage. I have a feeling I should, and that I should have known what it is for ages, but I just don't. Um, seven in one of those, not very helpful. Unless it is. Um, oh, how can I not know how to move on here? Right. Eight, that's not an eight. Eight is in one of these cells, and therefore not here. Here. So that's a 7-9 pair. That's very handy. That's probably accessible by some other fairly simple piece of Sudoku that I haven't been doing. So no 3 there. Putting 3 here might be it. Um, 6, 7, 8, triple there. So 9, 5, 9, 7. Take 7 out of those and put it in there. This now can't be 7. Um, Four, nine, that can't be nine. Finally got one candidate out of there. Um, oh, and where does six go in this column? It's got to be in this box, that in this cage. That is vital. Uh, one there, that is now five. We can take, oh, that has to become eight. So we've got five and seven, we can fill them in. Eight and seven there, can't do the one, two yet. So these aren't six, obviously. That is now three. They have been resolved. That nine eight pair has been resolved. That three five pair has been resolved for a while. I can suddenly tell this must be five. And then we can do the two and one. That's going to unwind the two one pairs I had at the bottom. Two there, four and two. The one three, no, but the three five, yes. So three, one, that's not a six. So we've got a seven, eight, nine triple, meaning I can place the four, one to finish the column. Uh, this is now where six goes. That can't be seven, so we're placing seven. That finishes the eight, seven pair. 
Still haven't finished the 8-9 pair. Uh, 4-6, no. That is an 8. Right, so that does the cage. 8 there. This is 9. That's 4, so we can do 6-4. Does the 2-6 pair to finish the box. We need a 7. 8 and 9 and 7, and that is Clover's puzzle. Now, I wouldn't call that a real speed run. That's a very neat puzzle. Um, but it was fun having a go at it fast, so I hope you enjoyed that to some extent. Um, nice to do a puzzle like that, actually. That really is entertaining. And as I say, I hope that maybe helped you get your mojo back if you tried it from um, Glipperol's uh, Killer Sudoku that Simon did earlier today. Brilliant puzzle, that as well, in its own way. Absolutely excellent. So thank you very much for watching. Do think about joining Patreon within the next week. Uh, I think you would benefit, but hope to see you again soon on the channel, one way or another. Bye for now.